Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning here in the Kansas City area. Um, I hope everybody's start to their day has been a good one so far. Um, it is Wednesday, November the 3rd, and I am ready to see what the day brings. I have a Taco Bell order. It's on Grubhub for $8.31, and it's going 3.3 miles. So I'm sitting here in the parking lot. Let me go in and get it. Okay guys, I got that Taco Bell order off uh, with no issues. I do have a um, Walmart Spark order um, that I'm heading to go pick up right now. I was hoping to kind of pick up uh, maybe another order from uh, this area here taking me down there. I mean, it's only a couple miles, so it's not that bad, but so far I haven't hit anything. But the Walmart Spark order is for $14. There's a $7 tip on it and um it's only going like 0.9 miles so it's a really good really good trip i just hope that they don't take very long to get it out to me to, so i can deliver it so anyway headed that direction right now okay i got that uh spark delivery off uh it was on the third floor but i was able to take everything in one trip so it wasn't too horrible anyway the uh walmart assistant didn't put the sticker that I needed to scan that had the barcode on it. She didn't leave it on any of the bags. I scanned it when I picked it up, but then she took the sticker with her. So anyway, just know that you can enter the barcode manually uh, right above the blue um, button where it says to scan code. There's a little arrow and you just have to hit that. It'll pop up and it will say uh, enter code manually. So you just have to take one of the codes uh, off the app and enter it into there and it automatically you know took care of all of them so uh, just know that you have that option and um, don't fret too much like I did because that was the first time it happened to me so I now have a uh, Walgreens order on me going uh, five miles and it was for eight dollars just uh, shopping for four items I'm in the Walgreens parking lot right now and I'm going to go in and get shopping. Okay, I uh, have that Walgreens order on board and uh, I only had to uh, substitute one item. So I had to text the customer and then she told me uh, that she'd take a Diet Coke instead of the Coke Zero. So I noticed something new in the DoorDash app with these uh, shop and deliver orders. It looks like um, they now have us scan the barcodes on all the items. So it looks like they're catching up with the times on all the other grocery uh, delivery apps. So anyway, I uh, am about 620 feet from the drop off <laughs> for that. So let's go get it dropped off. Walgreens order is dropped off and I now have a Walmart Spark order and it was for $23.61 going 5.9 miles so uh, I'm a little bit away from it uh, I was probably about five miles away and it was gonna take me about 15 minutes to actually get over there so anyway but I am working towards um, a bonus program that Spark has for this week and it was from like I think Monday to Friday so the first through the fifth and if you did 15 uh, Spark orders then they would guarantee you $300 for that week and that's without tips so just whatever their base pay is if that isn't three if that doesn't reach three hundred dollars then they will make up the difference between what you did make um, and the three hundred dollars so um, I don't think I'm gonna even come close to three hundred but um, well I might I might be about 
close to 200, but not, not 300 for sure. So, um, but I'll keep you posted on how that's progressing throughout the week. So, uh, I'm on my way now, like I said, to go pick up that spark order. So let's go do it. And on that spark order, there are two deliveries and, uh, looks like the tip on that order is $14 so I won't get that until tomorrow but um, better late than never as they say okay so I have that spark order on board actually I have both of the spark orders on board so the first drop-off is about three miles away so it should take me about eight minutes while I'm headed that direction I was gonna let you guys know where I am at on that bonus program so out of the 15 orders, I only have three more left to do. So, you know, I have all day today, tomorrow, and Friday to get that done. So, I, I think I'll, I think I should make it. So, I'll get a little extra money out of it. Probably not a whole lot, but you know, I'll take free money any day. Um, and then also, uh, update on my tips from yesterday. I had one customer give me a $15 tip. So that was nice, and then uh, so far that's all I've received. But then I also finished the bonus program that I was working on for the shop and deliver orders. So I had to do uh, five of those, and I finished those yesterday, and they actually gave me the uh, bonus late last night. I got an extra $40 for completing that bonus challenge. We'll always check the app to see if there's any bonus programs going on. A lot of times they'll have something, you know, going on, but uh, but not always, you know, and, and it depends on your area too. Okay, I got that first spark delivery off and the lady actually tipped me $20 in cash, so that was pretty sweet. The second drop off is about 2.7 miles and 8 minutes, so I'm on my way there now. Okay, so I just took another order. Actually, it's been pretty slow. It's been almost an hour since I've had an order, so it is uh, 2.14. It just seems like all of a sudden the uh, orders just totally stopped. So it's just kind of weird, but um, I just ate my lunch while I was sitting there waiting. And um, so now I'm picking up uh, DoorDash from Grinders for $6.50 and it's going 4.5 miles. So since it's so slow, you know, I kind of lowered my uh, dollar to mile ratio. So, uh, I, so I'm just not sitting. Anyway, I'm on my way there. I'm about three minutes away. So let's go get this picked up. Okay, I got that grinders order dropped off and now I have a Grubhub order for $7.05. Originally said it was going 4.5 miles, but um, I actually picked it up shortly after I picked up the grinders on the way there. So it's only about half a mile away, like two minutes. So let's go get this on board. Okay, so that Grubhub was a pay only order. At least that's what it said when I got there. They had nothing so um, they went ahead and it was just one sandwich so they just went ahead and made it really fast so Grubhub does that sometimes they say it's a pay only and they don't call in and place the order so um, it's a little irritating sometimes um, if the order is very large a lot of times I won't wait for it um, because it's gonna take them a while right but since this was such a small order, I went ahead and waited on it. It took maybe three minutes to make the whole thing. So anyway, I have it on board and I am probably about two minutes from the drop off. So let's go get it off. I have on board a DoorDash order. I picked it up from Outback Steakhouse. 
It's for $17.25 and it was going 11.5 miles somewhere around in there. So I know it's a very far distance, but it's during the slow hours of the day and it's giving me something to do and making a little money while I'm at it. So let's go get this off. And I was literally sitting across the parking lot from Outback, so it made it very easy to go grab. Okay, I don't know if that trip's gonna be more or not, but let's find out. Yeah, usually those uh, long distance ones don't increase in price, so it didn't surprise me. Okay guys, Dairy Queen finally got their chocolate ice cream machine fixed, so I'm enjoying a chocolate ice cream cone this afternoon. So I do have a uh, DoorDash order on me. Um, it's to, I'm picking up from Hawaiian Brothers and it's going 3.3 uh, miles for $6.50. So it's like right behind me so I'll be there in less than a minute let's go grab it okay guys I have that Hawaiian Brothers on board and the drop-off is about 2.6 miles and just five minutes so let's go get it off all right I have that Hawaiian Brothers dropped off um, he it was a hand to customer so he had the door open and was waiting for me and he was like hey up here so he saved me some time looking around, uh, but that did turn into a $7 order from, up from a $6.50. So like I always say, every little bit helps. It's about 4.31 right now and getting close to the dinner rush. So I'm hoping things pick up a little bit because it's been pretty slow this afternoon, but uh, I'm just waiting on my next order. I'll let you know when I get it. Okay guys, I just got an Uber Eats order and I'm picking up from Hawaiian Brothers again and it's for seven dollars and thirty cents and it's going 2.9 miles so there should be pretty quick so let's go pick it up okay i have that hawaiian brothers on board it is about uh, five minutes to the drop off and 2.3 miles so uh, let's go get rid of this I just got an order on DoorDash uh, picking up from Dos Realis and um, it was for nine dollars and the app said 7.9 miles but I run DoorDash on both my Android and on my iPhone and the Android only said 5.9 miles, so, so I don't know who's right. So anyway, I'm almost there to pick it up right now, so let's get in there and get it. Okay, I had to wait about five minutes for the Dos Realis order to be completed. Um, I'm about five miles from the drop-off, so when I started it was 5.3, so I think my Android was correct and my um, iPhone was not. Anyway, I'm on my way. I should have it dropped off uh, probably in about 13 minutes. Okay, so I got the Dos Realis order off. It was actually delivering to a semi-truck, so the guy was just standing outside waiting for it. So easy drop off. I didn't even have to get out of my car, so that was kind of nice. Uh, now I have a Grubhub order picking up from grinders so the order uh, is for seven dollars and ten cents going 1.7 miles and I am turning into the parking lot right now for grinders so it should be a pretty quick order let's go get it Uber Eats 
It's picking up from Ding Tea for $8.39. The original mileage on it was 5.9 miles, um, but I'm sitting right outside the restaurant already and it won't be that far to get to the drop off, but I'll let you know, I'm gonna go grab it right now. Okay, walked in there, grabbed it, walked out. Um, looks like I'm about 4.5 miles from the drop off, so it's gonna take me about nine minutes. Let's go get it off. guys I have another order on me from DoorDash uh, picking up from Strang Hall I already have it on board I had to wait about 10 minutes for it uh, but I was like right around the corner from it when I got it so um, like I said it's on board and I have three minutes to the drop-off 1.2 miles the mileage that <laughs> I don't know I don't know why this is doing this all the time but the mileage that DoorDash showed me was like 7.9 miles. So once again, it picked up miles from where I came from before. So um, you just gotta watch, make sure you watch your map because um, that can really make you miss some decent orders if you're not paying attention to the actual map and see if it's calculating it correctly. So anyway, I should have this off, like I said, in about three minutes, so let's go do it. Okay, so I picked up an order on Grubhub from Carabas, and it was for $11.75, and it was just going a couple miles. Um, so I already picked it up. I had to wait about seven minutes to get any help. So now I'm on my way to pick up another order from Grubhub from uh, China Rose. And it's for $10.71 going 2.4 miles, if I remember correctly. So I am here and ready to uh, go in and get it. Good, I'm picking up from McKenzie. Okay, I have that China Rose on board and it is only three minutes to the drop off, 1.1 miles, so let's go get it off. Okay, so I have a DoorDash order on me picking up from Jack Stack Barbecue, my favorite restaurant to pick up from. Um, they had it ready grabbed it quick and the drop off is only about three minutes from the restaurant and 1.8 miles so let's go get it done oh hi okay that jack stack barbecue drop off was at a hotel and she was actually sitting there waiting as soon as i walked through the front doors so quick drop off easy order and it turned into an $8.50 order up from $6.50 so can't beat that anyway waiting for my next order okay so I just got a DoorDash order picking up from Panda Express for $6.50 and it's only going 1.8 miles so it should be pretty quick to do um, kind of slowed down a little bit it was kind of busy there for a while so uh, anyway let's go get this picked up Okay, I got that Panda Express dropped off. It turned into a $7 order up from $6.50. So just waiting on my next order. All right, I already have my next order. It's um, it's an Uber Eats picking up from Chipotle and it's only going 1.2 miles. So this should be a really, really fast order. So um, as long as they have it ready, let's put it that way, it should be fast. So let's go grab it. All right, 
so the Chipotle order was sitting there and ready for me, so I grabbed it, and the drop-off is 0.9 miles, and should take me about three minutes, so let's go get it off. Okay, I got that Chipotle dropped off. It took longer than expected because the customer uh, gave me the wrong house number. Uh, he was in 8612, but he put 8618, and thank goodness the lady was outside at 8618 and was like, can I help you? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm looking for Duncan 8618. She goes, well, this is 8618. There's no Duncan here. And she was like, you mean Duncan Donuts? And I had to spell the name for her. She's like, no, I don't know anybody by that. So, um... I guess people nowadays don't know their neighbors because it was the house just to the right of her house. So I don't know, maybe she didn't live there, I don't know, but uh, I just thought it was kind of odd. So anyway, I'm just waiting on my next order. Okay, I just got an order on Uber Eats and it's for $10.50. Picking up from Strang Hall, uh, it's going uh, 3.4 miles and I'm, I was about a mile and a half from the restaurant. Um, about three minutes, so I should be there pretty quick here. So let's go get it on board. Okay guys, I have that string haul on board and I am 1.8 miles from the drop off. That's how far it was from the restaurant and it'll take me about three minutes um, to get it dropped off. So let's go do it. Okay, so I'm still on my way to the um, Uber Eats drop off and uh, I received an order on Grubhub picking up from the bar and it was for $10.16 going 6.2 miles but um, it's not going to be 6.2 miles because it's pretty much picking up close to where I'm dropping off this Uber Eats order. So anyway, let's go get this dropped off and then get the uh, Grubhub picked up. Okay, so I have that uh, Uber Eats order dropped off and I'm on my way to pick up the Grubhub from the bar. And um, actually it was only like 1.4 miles from where I dropped off the Uber Eats and I should be there in about three minutes. So let's go get it on board. Okay, so um, that was a pay only order at Grubhub. So it was ready when I got there. All I had to do was pay for it and grab it. Um, so it's about, uh, eight minutes from the restaurant and I think it was like 2.9 miles so not too far but uh, let's just go get this off okay guys it's time to call it a night it is 9 18 so um, it's kind of a strange day had a lot of downtime but I still hit my goal it just took me you know a little bit longer and, and I'm fine with that as long as I hit my goal so um, and it's not like three hours or something, but yeah, it only took me about an hour longer. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. It would be greatly appreciated. So have a great night, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.